Alright, this is Chris recording for Magic Gathering Strat. Doing probably the last M14 draft I'm gonna do. <coughs> Losing a lot of value playing these things. Alrighty, um. So the obvious choice here is just Doomblade. Uh, Wild Ricochet I'm not too sold on, takes a lot of setup to make it work. I already tried Blight Caster, it didn't really work for me. Uh, Pitchburn Devils is a nice like 2 for 1, but <coughs> <coughs> I think it's just Steam Blade. And I don't really think it's close there. Could try and force the Blight Caster thing again, but really didn't have a lot of success with that last time I tried it, so we'll just go with Steam Blade. Uh, so we have Water Servant here, which is a nice little blue guy. He's pretty solid. Banisher Priest is a very, very good card. We also have Corrupt if I wanted to go the Mono Black route. Uh, of course, if I wanted to go the Mono Black route, I'd go with the Cursed Spirit. Um, we also have the Green Doom Blade. That was a pretty good pack, I'd say. Time Ab. I don't really know what the right pick is here. Um... I'm inclined to take the Banisher Priest just because it's like a two for one, but I don't think white is that strong in this set, so... <coughs> I think for me it's between the Water Servant, the Time Ebb, even the Deadly Recluse or Liturgy of Blood. Um, yeah, actually, I think I'm going to take the Cursed Spirit here. Uh, stick to my Black Guns. <coughs> 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 see where that takes me. Ooh, well we have uh, Sarah Angel here, which is probably going to be the best card in this pack. Uh, could also take the Woodporn Behemoth, or Rumbling Bailoth, Corpse Hollow. Well, you know, I think I'm going to take the hint there with the Woodborn Behemoth that uh, green might be open. Uh, Woodborn Behemoth and Rumbling Bailoth are both still here. I mean, Sarah Angel's obviously still, still here, but uh, hmm. I do like green. I think green is really strong, and seeing these two green cards leads me to believe that green is open. So I just want to kind of want to take the big green stuff. So we'll take the Woodborn Behemoth. Mana Weft Sliver. That's a nice little accelerator there. There's a Mark of the Vampire. Time Ebb. Not a whole lot of really good stuff here. I think I'm going to take the Mana West Sliver just to be an Accelerator. Because Accelerators are always really, really good. And I'm not really missing out on a whole bunch else if I don't take... You know, if I don't take the Time Ebb or the Mark of the Vampire, I'm really not going to miss those two. So I'll take the Mana West Sliver. Um, and now we get... I think a ring of flesh is the only thing that's in our colors. Red is red seems to be really open, but I'm gonna stick with black here. Ring flesh is not great, but it's a decent like combat trick. So we'll take it. <coughs> it would appear that I'm getting cut off of green. I'm gonna take the windstorm, it's a good sideboard card. There's just really not a whole lot in this pack. So I'll take the windstorm. Alright, so, there's really not a whole lot here. I guess I'm going to take a Blood Baron or a Diabolic Tutor.
I think I'm going to take the Blood Baron. In case I pick up Spore Mounds or other green token generators, Blood Baron becomes really good. I can also take the Child, Child of Night. Yeah, yeah, actually I'm going to take the Child of Night. <coughs> Sliver Construct would go pretty well with the Mana Weft Sliver. So the Blightcaster made it back around. Um, hmm. Don't really have a lot of enchantments. I'm thinking about just going with the Undead Minotaur. A solid 2 3 ground dude. Yeah, I think we'll go with the Undead Minotaur. Uh, I just hate drawing off the Time Ebb. And I'll take a Ranger Scout here. Nice little protection for my creatures. Verdant Haven to accelerate. Uh, shrivel for the sideboard. not sold that I'm the only uh, drafter in my colors. A lot of good stuff didn't make it back. So we have uh, a Johnny's Chosen as a rare, not really a good card. Um, I think I like Enlarge here. It can be a good like just spot removal. And there's just not a whole lot else for me anyway. I could take the Minotaur Abomination, but there's no other really good green cards. So I'm just going to take the Enlarge. Won't be too upset about that. It's a pretty good card. Follow that up with a Colonian Tusker. All right, now we're talking. Good green cards. Trionic Resonators, the rare. Somebody else took a common with the previous pack. But I will take Colonian Tusker. Good aggressive two drop. go for like a nice singer vampire or something that would be sweet. <sighs> Chandra's Phoenix. Dang. Um, so here it's between naturalized troll hide. Um, I think I can pick up naturalizes later. I think I'm gonna pick pick the troll hide here. Do need some more creatures though. 
I hope some people pass me some creatures. Preferably not in the form of a brindle boar. Yeah, I'll take a giant growth though. Giant growth is a nice little trick. Pretty much one of the best combat tricks there is. You get another giant growth or a gnawing zombie. Hmm. Or an undead minotaur. Not sure. I'm inclined to take the gnawing zombie. It gives me a little bit of reach. And if you pick up like spore mounds or whatever, it's really good. Mm -hmm. That being said, yeah, I think I just kind of need the creatures right now to fill out the curve. I just straight up don't have enough creatures yet. Alright, well there's that spore mound I was talking about. Taking that guy here to gives me some nice little synergy with uh, the gnawing zombie. And if I can pick up some other sacrifice type outlets, it becomes really, really good. So, spore mound here. another windstorm for the side or I can take a naturalized for the side. I think I'm taking the naturalized this time. Domestication is still in that pack. It's crazy. And a plummet for the side. I've got a lot of, a lot of sideboard cards here. <laughs> it's usually a sign that the oh my god well can't guys are wheeled. Well I'm keeping somebody else from playing it. I can't really handle an early fire cat so let's I take that guy. Yeah, I'm thinking that there's got to be a lot of people drafting these colors at this table. Draft the Angelic Wall. Yep, colors are drying up. It's a clone and a foil clone. Um, well, given the choices between those two. Man, just a bad open. Um, I think I take a deadly recluse here. Ugh. Maybe I just rare draft the full clone. You know, it's not worth anything. I can splash clone though. That might be the best option. Splashing clone. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the clone. I can get more deadly recluses if I need them, and this deck is pretty weak right now, so. Oh man, there's the Bog Brew Witch. I think I'm gonna take the Rumbling Veil off here, though. <laughs> Let's 
sell it for. And maybe I don't have to splash the clone. Got another gnawing zombie or the blood baron. We'll take the blood baron now for curve purposes. We can also take the minotaur abomination. Mm. It's pretty close. I think the blood baron is just good enough, especially with the spore mount synergy. <coughs> We'll go with Blood Baron. And our colors have dried up again. Blech. Take the hunt of the week. And then another giant growth, and I'm just I have no creatures. A sure sign you're in the wrong colors if you don't have any creatures. Playables, just no creatures. And then I get a root waller. That's weird. Definitely taking the root waller. And another windborn behemoth. Well, that's weird. Yep, taking that guy. I thought I was in the wrong colors, but I guess I'm not. Um, let's take a train condor here. We can actually splash it. No money cards. I guess I should have been in blue. <laughs> Alrighty. So what do we got here? These giant growths, ring flesh, slivers didn't really work out. Demon blade, construct, mootwalla, blood baron and minotaur, Bayloth, hunt the weak, cursed spirit, behemoth, spore mound, large. That's nineteen. Splash the Condor and the Clone. Verdenhaven, Manaweft, Sliver, and probably two islands should get me there. I do kind of want to play the Trollhide, that would give myself some reach. 
But what am I able to really regenerate? The behemoths? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that should be okay. Curve stops at 5, so I can still get away with 17 lands. Probably two islands. Very heavy on the green, so probably seven, eight, maybe even nine. Yeah, I don't need double black, so six black should be fine. Yeah, between two islands, the the Mana Wife Sliver and the Verdant Haven, I think I'll be able to cast the clone and the condor in a relatively quick fashion. So there we 